Drake. Welcome to Working Dragon Mystic, where we discuss real, metaphysical, and occult knowledge so that you can manifest real and tangible results in your life. And today, I thought we'd do something just a little different. Um, at the time of filming this, tomorrow is actually Thanksgiving here in the States where I live. Um, many of you around the world probably may not care, may not celebrate, may not have anything to do with it. That's fine. But it did get me thinking of something I do every year about this time and how it has been so beneficial to me, my practice, my self-mastery and my self-empowerment. And that's actually one of the things I really wanted to talk about today. And that is learning to be thankful and how it's affected me over the years and how it's helped me in my self-mastery. And I know that sounds crazy, um, because there is a lot of people who use thankfulness as contentment and they're thankful they have this. At least I have this. I don't need to strive for this over here because I got this thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with contentment. I agree to some points. Um, there are certain points where I think it's um, contentment is almost an excuse to try to do better okay just some now for me <clears throat> i'll admit growing up and looking at things in a lot of points in my life i didn't really think i had a whole lot to be thankful for so anytime someone asked me what i was thankful for i just kind of replayed the cliches family friends health you know and don't get me wrong, those are perfectly fine things to be thankful for. But the reason I say they're cliches is because I wasn't even thinking about it. Like, if you ask me what I was genuinely thankful for, my mind went blank. So I just rattled off the you know, what everyone expects you to say. And this led to year after year after year after year of my life being miserable in all accounts. And I was working with the dragons when um, the concept of thankfulness came up. And I actually rattled off that same answer. My co-magician literally started laughing so hard. He was on the ground. And I was like, what? And he's like, you can't look at me and tell me you do the things you do. Throw yourself into situations you choose to throw yourself into and care about your health. You can't tell me that you're thankful for your family when you and them haven't spoken in years you can't tell me so he was calling me out on my bullshit and he was calling me out on my complete obliviousness of those things and he's like now stop that and think he's like part of the reason you're this miserable old grump that you are is you don't realize what's actually going on, what's actually good in your life. And I, you know, that, that kind of gave me pause because I was like, what the heck, what? But here's what he had me do. And I want to share this with you because I do this now every year around Thanksgiving. I will sit down and I will look through my journals I will look through the everything that's happened this year, the good and the bad. And yes, that's an important part of this. Because ironically, you need to know what has happened, both good and bad, to truly know what to be thankful for. And honestly, I've already started this. I'm going to be doing the meditation deeper um, tomorrow and the following day. But I've already been looking over my journals, and that's what inspired me to do this video. Now, there's a lot that has happened this year that I truly do feel I should be thankful for. However, there's also been a lot of things and revelations this year and things that have happened um, that truly piss me off, make me angry, um, get me upset at myself or others, you know. There's been plenty of roadblocks. There's been lots of things that's happened that didn't go the way I would prefer or wanted. That's the truth. <clears throat> um, but with that in mind, with identifying those, identifying why did this piss me off? Why is this such an issue for me? Why is this a problem? 
What can I do about it? And I will examine it. I'll go through there. And some of those things, nothing I can do about it. And I have to accept that. I have to look at that. Or perhaps I could do a spell working to perhaps curve it into a better situation. Maybe. Um, but by understanding those things, understanding all the things that went wrong, the stress, the anxieties, you know, the complete shit fits, whatever it was, um, individuals I deeply care about going, spending time in the hospital in um, emergency care. What happened this year that I could be truly thankful for without just rattling off the cliches and this year <clears throat> for all the crap i have to say has been a good year because there is a lot of things um first off i've learned a lot about myself my personal habits and whatnot things that i do that are good for my health things i do that are bad for my health and then i've even identified things this year that i didn't know i did or didn't do that I need to change in some way and found ways to change those to put me on a fast track to bettering myself. Um, the same thing with my practice. I was, um, I've ran into certain roadblocks and stuff. Many of you know we just released the evocation course. That was a really hard course for me to film because my teaching method for that is normally so one-on-one -on -one, and I really had to dive into evocation the practice the mechanics and try to communicate that in a different way in order to film that course that taught me a lot about myself and my methods and my techniques and honestly i've i've grown because of that and i actually believe that it's going to push me to grow further and do more on that um <clears throat> i have genuinely noticed that um there are those around me who are very, very, very all in on um, believing in the work I do, okay? Um, and that in and of itself is an inspiring concept. Um, of course, we have watched that, you know, even with the struggling economy and the struggling changes and um, all the changes to internet and published content and stuff like that, Working Dragon Mystic has managed to slowly plug along. Um, by and large, I think we're doing well. Um, and we've survived that turbulent period thus far. And if divinations and the um, data that we've seen for the, the past year are anything to go by, I would say that we're going to make it through this storm pretty well. I really do. I think we will. And that is something to be thankful for. Um, I've also got to watch those people I care about, how they've developed, how they've changed, how they've grown, where they've been making changes in their lives. And some of that I had a hand in. Some of it I might have had a hand in. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I'm thankful for those people doing better. And weirdly, this is going to surprise a lot of people, but I have people who absolutely hate me, but I actually see them improving their life and see them getting their life together, see them finding a sort of happiness and purpose and a reason and a drive and becoming a very, very great um, contributor to their community. That also is something I adore to see, and I'm thankful for seeing it. A lot of people don't want to see people who dislike them or hate them succeed. I don't mind it, um, because I truly believe as other people succeed, as they get that growth, as they do that, um, whatever it is that causes them to be grumpy or hateful tends to fall away more. Um, I know it did with me. I'm nowhere near the old grump that um, the dragons once accused me of. That's not to say... I'm a happy-go-lucky guy. I am a relatively grumpy guy on occasion, but my humor, my ability to look at the world has all changed. And a large part of that is because I did start to take time to realize what I have to be thankful for. So, I mean, it's it's silly, but it's there. Um, part of what I'm thankful for right now is I've learned a great deal about my personal health, what I need to do to improve it. I have... Um, as much as an uh, issue and a problem and a, you know, 
catterwampus in the entire schedule that the move was it's been nothing but a blessing thus far we we're in a place we love we we're in a neighborhood we love i have a neurologist that i like that listens to me as opposed to the one i spent the last four years fighting with and you all don't have any idea how much of a relief having a doctor who's actually going to listen to me and not just try to put me on a medication that has been proven to not work before um or to raise my medication to a lay a level that let's just say it changes who i am okay it makes me into a regular hulk raging asshole um so i'm very thankful that i'm no longer having to constantly have that fight every freaking year usually twice a year um and that's i'm truly thankful for that um and that's just a huge weight off my shoulders. And the changes that I've made in my life over this year, the things that I have changed, they're helping me so much. Um, joint pain, inflammation, all those things are going away. Mental focus, it's sharpening more and more every day. Um, getting back in shape, getting some weight loss off, getting able to get out there, be more physical again. Um, being able to get out in the woods, get camping, um, do stuff like that, that I've missed so much. These things are all things that have happened. They seem small. They really do. Some people might be like, wait, that's what you're thankful for? They seem so small to some people. But they mean the world to me. I'm not a complicated person. Like, yes, I did get a new vehicle this year. It's not a sports car. It's not a big giant four by four. It's it's a really amazing car to me. Um, I love it. I enjoy it. it. Has everything I need for camping, for doing the work I do for travel. Has all the cargo space I need. It's big enough for a guy like me because I'm six two, and I wear a hat. So most cars I'm scrunched up into, and even when I'm in there, my hat's in the ceiling. Like, I think we actually have a picture from the move my wife took where my hat is literally like in the ceiling. So I have to scooch down and drive like this when we're in her car. Um, it's it's funny. But so those little things, yeah. I am actually thankful to have this office set up the way I got it. Um, it seems a silly thing, but I, I have my own space, my own little mage cave, if you will. Um, but I'm also thankful genuinely now. This is one for my family. I am genuinely. Um, we may not have the family relationship most people expect, especially on a holiday greeting card or Hallmark crap, but I am thankful for them. Um, it was a long road harsh honesties being spoken and there were hurt feelings along the way as truths will do but they've come to understand who i am and they respect who i am they're proud of who i am and they're proud of that even if they don't agree entirely with my path and because of that there's a communication line that's a genuine communication line that's open even if it's not as constant as most would think and I hope they know if they ever needed me, all they need to do is ring because I would do what I could to help them. Um, now, I go through all this because when we seek self-mastery, when we seek self-empowerment, we need to know why we're doing it. Now, the first things we need to do is find out what went wrong. Where can we improve? That's why I look at everything that went wrong, the ups, the downs, the sideways, the topsy-turvies. I look at all of it. I want to know. And that's why I examine it. Could I have done something a little different? Could I have tweaked this over here? Um, oftentimes, I find out I put more time and effort into a situation that went bad than I might should have, actually. I, in order to not do enough, seem to overdo it often. And that's something I'm still trying to tweak. There's a lot of people who want to 
consume and overtake your time and think they're entitled to your almost 24-7 attention, immediate responses, and stuff like that. I do try to do a lot more than I probably should, and I'm balancing it, but I am learning, and I've tapered that down. Um, but you can only learn these things by actually being honest and examining it and figuring out what do you actually need to do. Um, but once I do that, once I have that information base, then, then I stop and say, okay, what went right? What am I truly thankful for? And there's things that went right. There's things that you're happy for. Maybe your favorite spoiler to team one. Okay, those are all there. Those are all nice little builders, motivational builders or whatnot. But then as you get toward those, the end, where those things that truly made a difference, those things that are truly you're thankful for. Maybe it's that raise. Maybe it's a promotion. Maybe it's a change of job. Uh, maybe it's a change of location. Maybe it's a change of scenery. Maybe it's just a change in the pattern of things. Maybe it's a change in yourself. Maybe you decided, you know what? I spend all day at a desk. I'm going to start walking more. And you found you're feeling better. You're more energetic. Maybe you're losing weight because of it. Maybe you're going to the gym more, whatever it may be. Maybe you've went back to school. There's so many things out there and they're unique to all of us. There is no one pattern of thankfulness or success or doing things right because what we're thankful for is going to change from person to person based on who you are and what your path is. But it is immensely important to know what it is. Because if you can feel that, if you truly know that, if you spend time meditating on that, it reminds you why you're doing what you're doing. It reminds you why that pursuit of self-mastery and empowerment is so important. It reminds you of how much it can change you, how much it can improve you, how much it can improve your outlook on the world. And as a result, you living in the world, how much you yourself and just existing in it as a better person can make the world better. And there's something truly amazing about that realization. It really does snowball. And going into the next year, you saw what happened, good and bad this year. You know what you're thankful for going into the next year. And it really allows you to start evaluating and making a plan of action to go further next year than you did this year. And to me, that has been an absolutely wonderful, wonderful um, tool in my path and my self-mastery and empowerment. I still have a long way to go, even after all these years, but it's been fun and it's been fun and enjoyable because of this, because I take the time to pay attention, to look at, to examine and to know what I am genuinely thankful for without, without just rambling off, you know, the cliches, because the cliches don't do anything. You don't feel anything when you're just rambling off a cliche. And that's the problem, see, because it's easy to focus. It's so easy to see the negatives. It's so easy to lock on to the negatives and get stuck in that woe is me. Oh, nothing bad it cares me. I'm going to go eat worms. Victim concept that nothing's ever going to change. It is so easy to fall in that. Everyone I know has fallen into that at some point. Some of us longer than others. It was not an easy pattern for me to break by no means. But this is what really helped me. Because once you start understanding what you're thankful for, once you understand that, every day you get up, every day you look around, every day you, you're there. Life just sort of has so much more meaning to it. So much more luster, so much more beauty, so much more to experience. And remember, life is meant to be lived. Life is meant to be experienced. That means the good and the bad. And when you know what you're truly thankful for, somehow even the bad ends up being an experience you treasure. It sounds screwy. It sounds messed up. I know, but it really does. So hopefully this year you will take some time out and meditate on what you are truly, truly thankful for, what it means to you, and hold on to that feeling, and get ready to make your plan for next year, 
on what you want to do with your path and your life and your goals that you wish to pursue so that at next Thanksgiving, you can do the same thing and find a whole new bunch of things to be thankful for. All right. Anyways, from my family to yours, I'm Drake. This has been Working Dragon Mystic. Happy holidays, everyone. Take care. Goodbye.